What's good YouTube, we back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my attempt at making a beat like mine design. I don't know if I did good, but you guys will let me know. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so as you guys can see, we're on Serato Studio and the first thing that I did were the drums. So I'm gonna show you guys the sounds, show you where I got them from, then I'm gonna show you the pattern. So let's get into it. So a lot of mine designs drums have like a disco feel to them, like an old school funk, just, you know, not really boom bappy. So I had to go to Splice and get some sounds and it was super easy. I never really used Splice, but literally just have the sounds, uh, get the sound I want and drag it in wherever I need it. And that was it. So yeah, Splice is where I got them from, if you guys are wondering. After rehearsing the drums for a little while, this is the pattern that I got. Nothing crazy, just a simple little pattern. Alright, so this sound... I only really played in the beginning, um, so it's not going to be playing throughout the whole beat. I feel like that would just be obnoxious. But yeah, after the uh, drums, I got some chords. So I went over to Neo Soul Keys by Gospel Musicians. And I got a, a typical Sound and Road sound and I threw on Isotope Vinyl so I can put the warp at 30%. So this is how the keys sound. So this is a generic uh, road sound, nothing crazy. And this is the progression that I got with the drum. So let me show you. So yeah, the chords weren't really that hard to come up with. Mind Design's chords aren't really too complex. So thankfully, I didn't have too much trouble with coming up with this pattern. Up next, I had like this little background sound effect, so you'll hear it in the back. Nothing much there. I just didn't want to have chords, drums, and a bass line. I feel like that would have been a little bit plain, so I had to add that little effect. After that, I got the bass line, which I actually took inspiration from one of his uh, beats. I think it's called Eating Star Fruit. Um, so go check that out. It has a pretty cool bass line. And the drums, actually, I got those from his Rhythm Roulette uh, episode. So I took inspiration from that, and that's how I came up with those. But this is how the bass line sounds. That was pretty cool. Last sound that I added was this little uh, synth sound. And this is how it sounds. So I got that sound through Retro Machines and it's the 700 Jitter Lead. After placing it down, I got an effects rack from Gospel Musicians just to have this uh, pan so it can go left to right. And then I also added an amp on there. All these other effects are off. After that, I just put some reverb on it and uh, with the Ozone 9 to stereoize it. You know, just make it sound a lot more stereo. And yeah, that's how I got that sound. So after that, this is pretty much what I had. So that's the beat right there. I felt like it sounds similar to something that Mind Design can make, but I feel like if I just left this beat like this and posted this as a video, that would be so whack. So I decided to lay some vocals down and I'm no singer, so bear with me, but 
let me run through those real quick so this is the first set of vocals that i laid down just some uh just me saying ha basically <laughs> yep that's that um i was running out of breath towards the end right here i don't know if you could tell but uh yeah after that i laid down another vocal of me doing something similar but i ended up pitching it up by 12 so it can be an octave higher so check that out All right, so it's not gonna be on tune. I'm no, I'm not a professional vocalist. I'm not a singer by any means. So if you notice that the vocals are kind of waving and getting off tune, that's not an effect. That is me trying my best to sing. So <laughs> bear with me. After that, I added uh, another vocal. I didn't want to just keep adding ha ah, hey ha ha. So I decided to talk a little bit, but I just didn't really know what to say. I want I want to say something that's sounding like romantic or or something that just you know mind design was thinking about but i couldn't really figure nothing out and i was on the phone with my girlfriend actually so i kept asking her what should i say and she was like mm -hmm, just think about it so i was like all right i'm gonna just say just think about it and this is what i got think about it so just think about it and i'ma think about it so yeah that's that and then i added uh some more right here so i added, i actually added a lot of vocals on this beat this is probably the most that i have ever added but um this is the last set of vocals i added and i'm gonna show you guys the finished product So yeah, that's that. I upped the pitch by one and I added a bunch of delays, some reverb and isotope vinyl just to take away some quality. But that's the vocals right there. Man, I was trying so hard not to cringe. I might edit this out of the video, but um, yeah, let me show you guys the finished product and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Check it out.
so yeah that's gonna do it for this video i had a lot of fun i feel like it turned out pretty good and i'm pretty satisfied with it shout out to my design he's a super dope producer man he clean chords clean vocals clean everything so if you guys don't know about him check him out i'm pretty sure you guys do know but yeah don't got much to say hopefully you guys subscribe and yeah, peace out